Alrighty folks, welcome back to Stone Man's Adventure. We've made it to this island where we have things that are chasing us, don't we? Uh, let's go in here and see if that continues to happen. Pyramids. Yep, it's going to continue to happen. There's one there. I mean, can, can you... You can't like start drawing, right? No. <laughs> it's worth checking. Okay, so let's do this. Ah, uh, you're also going to be one of the, the button presses. Okay. Um, I mean, how much can I do without thinking about the other thing? Maybe I should, like, block you in. Hmm. Nah, there's no reason to, right? I feel like I can do a lot of this. Oh, well. I feel like I can do a lot of this without thinking too much about you. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Ooh, okay, I just want you to go one further and then I can go around. Oh, kinda. Yep, done. <laughs> okay. This game has gone for very, um, not all of them. Some, some of the puzzles have been more like the the kind I'm used to, but some of this, a lot of them, like that one, like is, there's not really a like a particular, yeah, like a, like a common um, approach to puzzle design now is like each puzzle has like a specific thing, like obstacle to overcome that requires some like deeper understanding of the system to be able to figure out like how to get past that obstacle. Um, and here, like that puzzle, for example, I just sort of, it's sort of, a, it's like a setup. It's like, it, it maybe exists for the setup. It's like, well, this is a puzzle where there's an enemy and you're trying to build this pyramid. Maybe, maybe they were going with some theme there or something. I don't know what, um, but it doesn't exist for a, like a specific, like insides or, or deeper understanding of the mechanics. There was nothing there where I was like, oh, I don't know how I would do this. Um, how could I possibly do this? What could the solution be? No, the solution was do the things. Um, and it's not like, obviously, again, that's not all of the puzzles here, but there's quite a few of them. Um, anyway, stealth. Okay, I see you. Wait, these are not pushable. Yeah, these are walls. Oh, can I walk on your head? Is that what we're saying? Or, or we can somehow... I don't know how I'd use it to push the stairs. We must be able to walk on your head. However, how can I bring you any closer to me? Can you see me over this? No. Oh, yeah, because you don't attack me immediately. Okay. Uh-oh. There's no way out of this, right? Uh, okay, so... Hmm, so how can I avoid that? Interesting. Oh, there will be a way out of it. Which is to go up like here. Okay, cool. There we go. That, that that was a puzzle where it had a kind of particular trick for me to figure out. Now, once you're, mm, let's go, let's go around here. Bring you back up, and then right, right down. Yep. So I assume I can walk on you. I can. Cool. Neat. Yeah, that was like the other kind of puzzle where there's like, oh, interesting. So I'm forced into a situation where I'm like adjacent to the, 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 the slime that's chasing me. And therefore I need to find some clever way out of it. And the clever way is using the stairs. Ditch. And like, I'm not saying like the clever thing needs to be some kind of difficult or challenging thing to realize. It's just like, it's kind of unique. And it's like a, it's like a little, um, like if you imagine the system of the game is like some objects you can look at, it's like some little <laughs> aspect of that thing that you can look at and appreciate because it's like different and unique and it's, yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, so two things need pressing. I've only got one slime. Oh, and there's a stone that I can get up there. Uh, so I'm gonna have to use the slime to get out. Then maybe do that, then... Yeah, you can come. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. 
Let's do that again. Oh, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. That's right. Okay. And then we'll go up the stairs. No, it's not easy. I can't just leave like that. I think I know what I want. Because I can easily get the slime next to the stairs, like that. So I want to do that here, and walk over it, push the block over to the other side, and then walk back. Cool. There we go. That was cool. Very neat. Uh, oh, it's not done. It is not done. In fact, how would I ever get you onto that button? Sure, I can make you follow me. Oh, that's, that's how I do it. I make you follow me one space. Push this back. Cool. Neat. Yeah, okay, it was just that one puzzle here, basically. Push this along. Oh, I've also realized, like, when editing my previous videos, I've realized, like, some of the puzzles where I felt like, oh, that was kind of weird. It just felt like I pushed blocks around until they fell apart into the right shape or whatever. Um, I've realized there were probably more sensible solutions for them. Uh, I might go back and look at them in a second after this one. Uh, what do we have? We've got three buttons that need pressing. The stairs to go up. We're not pushing the stairs, I don't think. Yeah, unlikely. Uh, we could do that, but I see the issues that you're gonna leave that. Yes. And that's how the turns work. It doesn't resolve until after everything's moved. So I don't get to finish the game. Um, so I probably want you to come along. That would be my guess. And then, yeah, push. Ooh. Like, I want that one to be able to go left now. How did these start? Oh, yeah, they didn't start like anything. Ah, so maybe actually I want you to be... Yeah, there, in the, like, in the middle space. Because then I can push to like this, and then push one over. Neat. Cool. All right, let's go back and look at the ones that I was thinking about. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not certain. Ah, they don't have the titles here. Hmm. What was involved? It was back here somewhere. It might have even been. No, that was black box. So like around here? Structure I think I did right. That's not the place I wanted to go to. Oh no, we're back here. <laughs> back we go. Um, uh, this one? Yeah, this one, ground flight. So I like, when editing the video, I was thinking about, well not when editing, when uploading the video and writing my little YouTube description that has the timestamps in it. I was thinking, oh, that's an interesting name. Why is it called that? I don't necessarily know yet, but I'm, but then somebody else, somebody left a comment on one of the other videos about another puzzle that I did in an unintended way, um, saying how I did that. And I realized that this is maybe similar, although I don't know if it is. Like, I'm, I guess what I'm wondering about is like, is this one of those puzzles where I'm supposed to do something like, uh, maybe not that, well, maybe that if I, push you in a different place. Like, am I supposed to be doing some... Oh, that doesn't work like that. Hold on. Because I've not been using this approach at all for anything. I don't know how it would help here. Oh, actually, yes, I do. Uh, however, I do need to get past you and not die. Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to move those stairs. I'm supposed to just like fly across. I, th the th I think the one thing that leads this game to have lots of like unintended solutions or like the possibility for it is the the blocks falling apart with gravity, because it's quite it's quite chaotic. Like what can be achieved by just like pushing stuff over the edge and making basically more room in the level. I guess like the other way to solve that using the mechanics that do exist is to have less water on the outside, like have more like hedges and walls and other things. But yeah, I imagine the solution was something like this. I'm supposed to like have like made this and I don't know. 
Um, but this isn't going to be it because I don't have a way of taking this back without dying. It's funny how there's no animation for that thing attacking me. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Mm, I kind of want to see if I can figure this out though. Leads somewhere. I can move that back without a problem. Mm, this does lead somewhere. <laughs> I still don't know if that's the actual intended solution. I think that was more like what was expected. I think it was using the trick that they expected me to use. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I guess that was the previous one before that. Uh, again, I don't know where it is, so I'm not going. I'm not going to find it. It's fine. Um, but it was the one with the three pillars that I had to line up. I think that also expected me to use that trick, which I have just not used <laughs> since it was taught to me. <clears throat> trapped beast. Okay, I see the trapped beast. I see the exit. Interesting level layout. Well, I have to go up here. I've got no choices right now. I've got three blocks that do need to go down there. Like, where could I go? If I go here, I'm not stuck. Interesting. Do I want a shape like this? And then... Then what am I doing with the trapped beast? Hmm, maybe not. That is an issue I've got. Well, maybe the trapped beast should go over here. I don't like that being there. Okay, could I have avoided that? They've got to kind of go, they've got to go over you. Can you see me through the fence? How's that work? No. Okie dokie. So I can't take you back down that way. So how would I get you to go back down, assuming I am? Maybe I'm not. But I am, right? Uh, not necessarily. Not if these are going to be as a... So if we do this, then vertical line. I could believe that this might be possible to make work somehow. Um, maybe I don't do that. Can I bring this back at this point? Why are those stairs there? Oh, for me to do that. Let's <laughs> stand here. Oh, no, I'm not done. I was thinking, oh yeah, now I can stand on that, but not quite. I think I do that later, didn't I? Uh, yes, do that. Do that, step here, you follow me down. That was cool, that was neat. Interesting setup. And it felt intended. Q. Okay, I see them. Wait, so hold on. So this is where I'm trying to get to. There's a green slime back there that will attack me. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, they're following me like that. Uh, what do I want? There's a, there's a rock over there to get. But I don't want the green one behind them to see me. And then you're sort of stuck up there. Although, I guess I could get you away. Ah, yeah, that feels good because I have a bridge. Does this feel good? Do I want to maybe push that down? I think I can push it down, can I? Oh, I died. Interesting. So uh, uh, a move that doesn't succeed counts as a, a move. So the thing can chase me afterwards. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> I forgot you were there. Sure, you go there. What if I just block your vision? And then like, bring these around in some way. I 
don't want, I don't mind you being like next to me. Oh gosh, yes I do. Ah. So is you dropping down actually bad? I just want to get this, this block somewhere useful. How would I? How would I? Good question. How can I step here without the other green seeing me? Well, so I can do it when that orange block is there, but then that means putting, ah, maybe you go there. Ta-da! Cool, neat. Marco Polo describes a bridge, stone by stone. But which is the stone that supports the bridge? Koopa Khan asks. The bridge is not supported by one stone or another, Marco answers, but by the line of the arch that they form. Invisible cities. Um, uh, so the developer of um, Konken Coast Pirate Solutions did a talk recently, which is on his YouTube, um, <clears throat> about systems and emergent behaviors within systems and stuff. And I thought he had a good analogy. Maybe it's come from somewhere else. He had a good analogy of how, you know, the idea of a keystone holding up a bridge um, is like an interesting as in uh, well holding up an arch like the keystone at the top of an arch like there's no, there's no rule in the universe that says the keystones must exist <laughs> there's just a bunch of physics and then an emergent property of that is like well if you want to build an arch uh you can i mean okay but then what i'm saying now is going against what this quote says <laughs> It's not just the keystone that's important. That's true. It's not just the key. We assign more meaning to the keystone, I guess, um, than the rest. But um, nonetheless, like the idea of, um, you know, there's like the concept of, I mean, even the concept of an arch doesn't exist within uh, just physics. Uh, well, except maybe in a purely mathematical sense, maybe. Uh, Maybe. Uh, anyway, let's, let's stop um, pontificating on random things and let's go. I guess that's the next island up there and there's a little note over there. Am I supposed to go to the note from here or? I suspect not. I think I'm supposed to go to this island from here. I think I'll just do it like this. Grab you. You come with me. Oh gosh, that is not what I did. I think this game doesn't have, yeah, doesn't have input buffering. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't bothered me more. I guess the moves are fast enough that I'm not, maybe I've just gotten used to it. By pressing like right up and I don't get the up. Anyway. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, there's like a note down there. Uh, I guess, I mean, let's do this one first since it was closest, closest to the entrance. Canoe, okay, yep, I see what we're doing. Okay, now we're forced to do this move, so I can't avoid it. Okay, so we want to ferry that across. There's a bunch of rocks that are gonna get stuck to us. Unless I like, go around. <laughs> then they won't. Uh, how does this, oh gosh. Yeah, okay. Oh gosh. Oh, I guess I could put you next to the pillar and then you go there, go up one more. Yeah. What's the point of the, ooh. I was, uh, all I've been thinking about so far is the um, switch, the button, but there's a set of stairs and the thing is higher up. What? Oh, I'm supposed to swap. Okay, understood. So stairs, you're coming with me. Uh, you go there, we'll push you down. Uh, you go there. Oh gosh. Oop. Let's lift you up. Not sure whether I was supposed to go around the back here, but I'm doing it simply because it feels convenient to do so. Oh, 
There we go. Push that there. I can't like, not worry about those rocks. Just avoid them entirely. Okay, interesting. We see look, some more stuff ahead. <clears throat> Narrow path. Uh, wait, what? What do we want? Uh, we need a bridge of four. What's what's next to me? I don't think. It's the wall. The oh, stairs. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. I can get on you. There we go. That's what I want. Neat. I think the the trick it was trying to teach me there is the idea of walking upstairs with a rock on my head. Is that gonna be relevant here, Odyssey? Interesting. So there are a bunch of rocks over there, four of them, and are they already on some buttons and there's more or? Hmm, I'm not sure. Right now, I need to kind of get over there in some way. Do I want to go over the fence or not? Probably not, because then how do I get back? So, so what am I going? Well, that was a bad way of doing it. I could just walk around, I guess. How's that help me? Hold on, let me do these ones first. Okay, those ones are easy. Step below. I can do that. I can do this and then nothing. Okay, how to deal with these two? Can't get around the back of them. What, what if I do draw the other direction? Does that change anything? Not really. Hmm. Oh, I guess if I'd left the others there. Yeah, okay, I think I see. Do I? Not really. Okay, now go. No. Go like this. Is that useful? That's not useful. That's worse. I still can't step behind that. I was hoping to leave one here, but I don't know how that would happen. How would I ever... Because I can only draw these horizontally. Hmm. I'd have to push it into that position from above. Uh, wait, unless I can get one. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get behind you. Hmm. This is clearly the route it wants me to go, right? Like, across this gap, otherwise, like, why would that be sticking out like that? If that is communicating to me, do that. Don't go over the fence. Okay. But how? Right, so I need some way of stepping to the south of you. I can't get you, I mean, I can push you further south, but then I need some way of standing here. So to get to the south of you, I guess ideally I'd like to, to walk around you. To do that, or walk around this. To do that, I'd have to either push this to the left, which I can't without standing on that. And to stand on you, I'd already be over here, so that would be enough. So I want to stand here instead. But I can't get a thing there. Well, because it can't be you, because I can't push you north. And like it can't be these. Because I can't push them south. Well, I can. 
but uh, then I'm on the north of them, and I can't go up here. I mean, that's the. Okay, I can go up there if I push you down to here, but that doesn't help. I still can't go around you. Is it a red herring? Is that whole thing a red herring? I mean, if it is... I guess I can cross here by doing this. Okay, well I'm over here. Should we have a think about what it would mean to be over here? Like, what I would do with this? Uh, things need to go that way. And one needs to get in the middle. Which is not currently happening. I'd have to fill in that, okay. Okay, so if I crossed here the normal way, that would work. I don't think I can get any of those back to pull back this way. Not really, no. Could I have... No, I can't draw the line in this direction. I can start the line down here. Don't think that helps. Okay, so clearly I do need to just go north. Hmm. What was I taught? I was taught that if... Okay, I can set that up. So, okay, maybe I have to use the thing I was taught. Oh, that's exactly what I have to do. <laughs> I was taught that lesson for a reason, it turns out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right, let me just do this again. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I just completely threw that lesson out of my brain after I learned it. Note to self, don't do that. Uh, oh, I just realized I could have used this to get across. Interesting, shall we go for one more? Let's go for it, I think. Or maybe we'll read these first. In Esmeralda, a city of water, a network of canals and a network of streets span and intersect each other. To go from one place to another, you have always the choice between land and boat. Fun. Visible cities. It's like Venice. And since the shortest distance between two points in Esmeralda is not a straight line, but a zigzag that ramifies in tortuous optional routes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That's a strange start and end to a quote. But uh, interesting. It's like, uh, it's like a puzzle. <laughs> They're just describing a puzzle. <laughs> Tortuous zigzag. Uh, did I pick the wrong one? I guess I picked the one at the back. Well, whatever. Embark. I see, like, the potential for boating around, I guess. I also see that I need three things on those buttons. What's, like, a feasible boat shape here? Like, that isn't one, because these are not joined. Okay. I can, I can draw through you, can't I? Yes, I can. So maybe I'll do this. But then I can't draw that, I can't pull that that way. Uh, maybe this? Okay, now that is joined, which is positive. I feel like I now don't have enough things. Yeah, okay, so I need to not lose that other one that was already out of the water. Or I retain one of mine, which I could have done. I definitely could have done. Although this is a bit awkward, isn't it? 
How am I going to push this left? Mm, maybe not. Can't walk around there still. Okay, but I could lift this up and then that. Push you down. Oof. Am I feasibly, like ideally, might be able to walk, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> I, actually, I think maybe if I do the same thing, but inverse it, so I've got left three at the back, push these here. Okay, so now, well, I don't want to drop you. Hmm. So have I made anything better? Is there a reason for these islands? Yes, maybe so I can do this and uh, put that there. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe even... Oh. <laughs> mm, okay. We'll think, think about that again in a second. Ah. Oh, so don't join to that. Down. Left. Oh, gosh. I don't mind you joining to you, actually. Oh, I do mind if you fall. Mm, I do mind if that happens. Uh, push these down and then push. Uh, nope. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> I think I can get there. Maybe I don't want to join to you just yet. Can we have done that a bit earlier? No, we cannot. Ooh, what if we join on that side? <laughs> hmm. You go down, but you don't go down like that. You go down. Oh, we just keep pushing like this, that's fine. Okay, push this over. Uh, can I get this in position? I can, and can I get back? I can, yay, neat. That was cute, the way I had to use the islands at the top right. Cool, okay, we'll leave that there, I believe. Wait, what was I just reading? Is it this? Maybe, did I walk past that? Maybe I went like this. It seemed like the text popped up when I was standing over here though. Curious. Uh, anyway, uh, actually I can already get to the next space, I think. Oh, I just entered the puzzle, it's not going to the puzzle. Look, I can see the next island already. Have a little explore further. Hmm, and then off to the left, I guess? I also only found, eight. I only found one puzzle so far. Oh, sorry, one secret puzzle so far. <laughs> I've only done one puzzle in this game so far. No, I've done quite a lot. What's it say? It says 61. Okay, neat. Was it 51 last time? So have I done 10 this, this session? Maybe, I might be right. Yeah, no idea how many there are. No idea what 100% is. Although like, we're sort of looping back around to near the start of the game, I think. I think we went kind of west and then south and then east and now we're going north. And it looks like we're going west again. So maybe it loops back around like that. I'd be kind of curious to see at the start of the game if we could see anything to the east. Like that looked like this maybe, like this terrain. Anyway, uh, yeah, see you next time folks and we'll solve these last two hopefully and continue this way. See you then. Goodbye.